guys, Tim Walling here with SC Legal Carry. We train people to get a CWP in the state of South Carolina. If you need a concealed weapons permit, please look us up online at sclegalcarry.com. One thing I'd like to talk to you guys about today is shotguns. I know we always talk about pistols on this channel, but I like 12 gauge shotguns. I've been looking for a bullpup and I've found one. So let's talk just for a minute about shotguns in their place. Now, this is a full-size shotgun. This is my turkey gun, okay? It's got a 28-inch barrel on this thing. And you're not going to really use this thing in an at-home protection situation. It's just simply too long for that. It has its place going into the woods, hunting though. 18-inch barrel home protection shotgun. This is what most people are using today. And we're not running anything really on this thing. We just got some fiber sights on the front of this gun here. But if you look at the gun, if you're using the firearm in the house, right? And here is my pistol. So now if I've got my pistol in my hand and I'm holding it like I'm going to fire it, and I've got the shotgun out, look, they're almost the same length. Not much difference in the length there. But I got something even better. So this small guy here is the Mossberg. This is a 590. It's a 410. And this is, this is an amazing home defense firearm. Easy to control, easy to move around the house with. Very lightweight, small, controllable. And I got this for my wife to use at the house. Now we do have slugs inside this thing. And I would have to admit this thing would be devastating if you broke into a home and you were staring down the barrel of this. So we are running a laser on this firearm. The controls right here for to hit the button on it. But I've got something for me. And let me show that to you. This is what I just picked up. So this is a G-Force, the GFZ model. They got several different models of these. This is a Turkish gun and G-Force Arms is out of Nevada. G-Force Arms is not making these firearms. They're ordering them from overseas, bringing them over here and then they're marketing these firearms to sell them. Now, this is exactly how the gun comes. This gun weighs five pounds, five and a half pounds. So it, it is fairly heavy, but this is an amazing home defense gun. And let's talk about what comes with it. So you've got a really nice butt stock on here, really rubbery, squishy, gonna be soft. You got a cheek rest that comes on it here, so you can raise it up, down, up and down, different positions on it here. Your magazine release is here, and you've got place for your sling. Your sling mount goes here and here. Now, I am going to run a sling on this gun. I do like to have the firearm attached to me so you can't take it away from me or pull it away from me at all. You can't take it away and shoot me with it, right? The charging handle. Charging handle is here on the firearm so that you can grip it and charge it. Now, with the sling here, you would be, if you came this way, you're going to bust your knuckle right here on that sling. So you've got to come this way if you're slinging the gun from this side. I'm going to sling it over here. This charging handle will move from this side of the firearm to this side. It's pinned in. You can pull it out and switch it. I'm not going to do that. It does come with flip-up sights on the gun. I'm not a big fan of these on firearms. And to get, to actually use these, you're going to have to take this off because you have to get way down here on the gun to be able to get to them. Plenty of rails, plenty of room on the sides, the top and the side for furniture on it. it does come with this handguard on it here, which is super nice. So you can come up here and grab it same place every time. Keep your hand from moving forward and getting in front of this barrel. This barrel, this is just a barrel shroud, a cover, and unscrew, slides right off, screws right back on here. Um... It looks really cool on the gun. Is it necessary? I'm not sure. Look inside here. This gun comes choked. So we have got, it came with two spare chokes and one in it. Now, I'm not sure exactly which one's in it. I'm hoping the medium choke is inside of it. So what your choke is going to do is it's going to squeeze your ammunition in a little tighter. So when it comes out and flies across the room, you can control the pattern that's coming out of the front of the firearm or the pattern of your ammunition as it flies across the room. Okay. Most people think that shotguns, you pull the trigger, it goes boom, and right here, 
The ammunition is going to come out of here. It's going to spread out six feet wide. It's going to go all the way across the room and cover the whole room with ammunition and destroy everything in its path as it consumes the room as it flies across it. Doesn't really work that way. You've got to pattern your gun. That's why they're giving you these different size chokes because based on the ammunition you're going to run through the gun, with the gun and the barrel, you've got to pattern each 12 or each shotgun patterns different. My buddy could have this same gun standing right here. We could each use this box of ammo in the gun and we may get a little bit of different pattern out of the two guns. So always pattern your gun. We're going to go the range and do that one. Your safety is right here so you can reach up with your finger. Safety is off. So over here and it's indicated by red. Remember red is dead. Red is ready to fire. So you just push it back. So you pull the gun up to use it, pop the safety off, it's ready to go. Really easy to hit that safety and push it off there. Works really well, it's in a great location for the firearm. The magazine release for coming back and dumping the magazine out of the gun works out really well. You get two magazines with the gun, two five round magazines. So this piece on the back of the gun does go away. Snap caps, dummy rounds, so when you load them up, you can watch the end there. You push it in and it goes right away there. So we push it down, slide it in. Now, we don't want to overload these magazines at first. We want to break this gun in when we go to shoot it. We don't want to set it up for failure. Usually Turkish guns need to be broken. You need a couple hundred rounds of really buckshot going through it to loosen the guns up. Don't, don't load your magazines up right away or you're going to have misfeeds and stuff like that. Just don't set yourself up for failure before you go. And you go to insert it, it just slides right in here, snaps right into position. You're going to charge it up. We're not going to reach over with this hand. We're just going to come back, charge it right up. So now we have a dummy round in the chamber there. And after you come up and fire the gun, we take the safety off. So we'll come up and fire the gun. We'll come back, eject the round, and the next round goes right into position there. So remember, use your snap caps to train with your firearm. Become familiar with them, learn how they function and work, work on your magazine changes, loading them. No live ammo out while you're doing this in the area, but you can learn to uh, do your magazine changes, things like that, by using snap caps. Always have snap caps for the firearm that you're gonna run so that you can practice with it. Uh, features, features. So here's your your bolt, your bolt's back, just like a standard AR, right over here on this side, pretty much looks the same. You would just push that in and the bolt slams to the front. Probably not a good idea to do that with it being empty, but uh, I just took it out of the box. I kind of looked it over a little bit and I did put some oil on it. I wanted to make sure this thing had some oil on the thing. I put a little bit of thick grease on the extractor here wiped it off some. We're, we're just going to go out and run it. I want to give it every opportunity to run well for me. Now, let's see. All right. Why? Why do I want a bullpup? Okay. Inside your home, if I take my pistol and I fire one nine millimeter round out of this pistol versus grabbing this bullpup and I fire one 12 gauge double lock buck out of it, it's like getting hit with 15 9 millimeter rounds all at one time with one shot. So that can be really devastating. Also, I like having a, having a sling on it so it's close to my body. And when I come around here to use the firearm, right, let me grab my pistol. So with my pistol out here, the way I'm going to shoot, look how much further my pistol is in front of this bullpup. So I'm actually saving space. So it's going to be good for tight quarters, using it, going through a tight hallway inside your home. This thing will work out really good. Works out really good in vehicles if you're on security teams, things like that. This is a just a phenomenal design in a 12 gauge shotgun. So let's just take a look at what I'm going to do to it. So I'm going to add some stuff to it here. Let's do that. So we're going to put our Hollison on here. Very nice. Pops right up into my field of view so that I can see it really quick. 
super nice. I love these Hollisons. Uh, I have a Crimson Trace, and this one fit a Glock. This is a CMR 201, CMR 201. The Crimson Trace laser. It's just a really small laser for the gun, and we're going to put it right up here. I'm going to slide it in this way. Okay, so we've got us a small laser mounted on here, on the front of it, so that we can reach up. We're using the firearm here. We can reach up with our finger and pop that on, and the laser is on. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but the laser comes right on. Reach up and it turns right off. Easy access to it to utilize it and make it function and work. Small, sleek, out of the way on the firearm. Now, we're going to put a light on it. O-Light. I really like these O-Lights here. They're easy to install and put on firearms. And snap it right into place. So, now we have our laser and we have our light on the front of the gun. So you just reach up and bump it, it turns on or off. You hold it down, it stays on. You let go, it turns off. Or you just bump it and it's on continuous, bump it again and it's off. But right up on the top of the gun, small. This is actually for the Picatinny rail on a pistol. But look how small it is and how sleek it fits to the gun. Look how low it is in proportion to the optic. So it's out of the way of the optic. I can still easily see right above it. I can turn my light on. It does not affect my optic because my light is in the front. My optic is in the rear. Still runs on the gun. And sling mount. So we're going to put our sling mount right in here on the gun. Now remember, everybody's going to run their guns different. You don't have to run your firearm like this. That's what's nice about guns and accessories for them is you can set the gun up for how you want to run the firearm. So I'd slip it over my head. I'm ready with the firearm. I have my optic. This is a shake awake optic, so I just move it and it turns right on. It adjusts the brightness on it based on the light in the room. It gets brighter, darker on its own. Photo cells in the top, so we use the photo cells to run. If there's no light source, it's going to switch over to the battery. The battery changes right here on the side. Super easy to do that. Snaps on or off. The control buttons are right here on it. Big buttons, easy to control and operate on this thing. So this is, and I think that's it. I think that's all the goodies that I'm going to put on here. This is how I'm actually going to run the firearm. I've got a laser here that I can touch and turn on. Touch and turn off. I've got my light. Turn it back off. And my optic just turns on when the gun turns on, or my optic turns on as soon as I move the gun. So this gives me a nice, compact, small package for getting through hallways, moving around the house if I need to. I can actually just drop this down, pull my pistol out, go to my pistol, reholster my pistol, come back up with this thing really easy and continue to use this. This gun also comes with this really unusual looking little tool here. Now this part's to get your chokes in and out. This is to be used to take the gun down. These little hooks on the end here. And on their uh, webpage, they've got a YouTube channel you can go to and they actually break this gun down for you and show you how to break it down, take it apart and clean it and oil it. So you can go there and check that out. I'm not gonna do any of that. Just... So this thing does run three inch shells in it. So I got some 12 gauge three inch shells here. It's a number four shot. This is really turkey shot that we're gonna run in it. And then I came across a bunch of buckshot at Academy last night. I tell you guys, I just love Academy. Academy hasn't price gouged even in the pandemic when it's hard to get this ammo and guns and things like that. Their prices have stayed pretty consistent. Uh, I got 10 boxes of the 12 gauge double alt buck. Uh, we also have some 12 gauge, these are eight shot. Bird shot. So we're gonna run some of these through. We are not gonna start with this bird shot because we know we gotta break this gun in a little bit. But let's... I don't expect to ever shoot bird shot through this gun. I bought this gun for a home defense gun. Double all buck is what's gonna be passing through this firearm when I'm shooting it. I anticipate that it is gonna love this stuff and it is gonna run really smooth through the gun. But we'll go to the range and find that out. Now, a lot of times when you 
grab guns like this. They're very sharp and rough edges. This gun is very smooth. They spend a lot of time rounding everything off, the trigger guard, the edges, where your hand goes so that you're not feeling all those rough, sharp edges. There, there is a little bit here, but it's the rail, so you know, be careful on the rail when you're grabbing the gun. But the front foreguard on the gun that you grab to protect your hand to keep it from going all the way forward is very slick and smooth. It was made for a person to grip and not eat their hands up while they're shooting this gun. The adjustable buttstock here, really nice, nice and smooth so that it goes up against your cheek. And the rubber buttstock is really nice against your shoulder there. So they did a good job with fit and finish on this gun. It looks really nice. This little piece right here is just a little rubber buffer. Bumper, buffer, whatever you want to call it. So if you got something a little soft to grab, you don't have to have that on there. You can just pull that right off and just run it like this if you want to. But it came with this on it, and it's kind of nice to have it on there. And guys, if you're looking for a bullpup and not sure if you want one or not, this may be a great way for you to get started with it. You can pick up one of these and begin shooting, determine whether or not you like it, if it's what you want then maybe you can move up to a more expensive firearm. But one thing I have come to find out in life is it's not always how much you pay for the gun. It's whether or not you can hit your target when you need to with that firearm. So as long as you're using the right ammo for the gun, you've trained with it and you're prepared and ready to use it, uh, should be a very effective firearm. So, hey guys, let's go have some fun. I'll see you at the range. All right, guys, we made it out to the gun range. We're gonna pattern our 12 gauge now. So we've got our range set up here. We've got some cover to shoot behind. We've got some different targets here. And we've got targets hung here and they are hung low so that we don't blow the chicken wire up while we're out here shooting. But we are gonna set up and we're gonna shoot and see just what our pattern is like on this thing. Uh, we're gonna do five yards, seven yards, and 12 yards as we do this. So one way to know the distance that you're shooting something is have an idea of how long your vehicle is. That way you can stand at the back of your vehicle and get a reference point so you know how far you are away from your target. And that way if you're in your home or any place you're at, you can look and say, well, I'm one car length away, I'm two car lengths away or one and a half car lengths away. So you have an idea of the distance you are from your target. So my vehicle is approximately 15 feet long. So that's the way I'm gonna envision this so that I can kind of see how far I'm away from these targets as we do this. So let me grab the uh, bull pup and let's get started. Guys, remember, always practice gun safety while you're at the range. The bolt is to the rear. My chamber is clear, no magazine in the firearm. Down range is here. We do not have a closed range today. We will keep the firearm pointed in this direction. So let's never sweep our hands in front of the muzzle of this firearm. We don't want our fingers or hands up there, right? So we're gonna pattern the gun and just see how tight a pattern we get when we actually shoot it. The burn shot, so let's see how it does with this double alt buck in here. Man, that's got some kick to it. All right, let's put our gun on safe. The gun is on safe. And let's just, I'm gonna let you guys take a quick peek at it. 25 feet, double alt buck. Let's just stroll down here. So let you guys see the pattern. We were shooting at the red. A pretty decent pattern for 25 feet, wasn't All right, it? Let's shoot it one more time. And this time we are approximately 15 feet away from our target. This is approximately the maximum length that you should be in your home when you're shooting this. So. Let's get our safety off and let's try to fire a shot here. Our safety is back on. And I'll let you guys get a quick peek at that pattern. So double alt buck at about 12 to 15 feet away from the actual target. Nice tight little pattern there coming off of it. Okay, let's try one about 30 feet away from the target. See how we do here. So here's your pattern at 30 feet from the target, double alt buck. Nice little spread there, looks like about 10 inches wide. All right, be honest with you guys, this gun's running really good. Uh, G-Force, I'm not sure exactly who's making it out of Turkey, but G-Force is selling this gun. We've got cover set up so we can use cover here. Now, look how close I can get to this cover. I can reach out and actually touch it, and I can still have the firearm. I have plenty of space here to still 
maneuver and get around. That's what's so nice about these bull pups is they allow you to keep a good safe distance behind cover so that you're barricaded yet you can lean out and acquire your target. So I got two targets down there. I'm about 15, 18 feet away with those targets. I've got them fairly close together. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come out from behind cover and we're gonna put four shots on the bad guy with the good guy standing right next to him. Try to make sure we don't get any shots on the good guy. Then we're gonna move over to this side and we got the same scenario set up. Good guy, bad guy. We got them side by side and we wanna try to get four shots off on the bad guy without hitting the good guy here, okay? So remember, we don't wanna set this gun up for failure, but so far this gun has run excellent. So from where I'm standing, this thing is extracting the casing and throwing it about 15 to 18 feet away from me. And there we go. We are loaded up and we'll take position and we're gonna do four shots and four shots. We're not overloading this magazine. It holds five, but we're gonna run four till we get it broke in good here. <laughs> This thing packs a punch. When it hits you, you know you have been hit with something. That chamber is clear. Gosh, it's running great though, isn't it? I mean, we are not having any issues with this thing at all running other than my neck getting slammed around here. Gosh, that was hard. Uh, let's take a look at the targets and see how we did. So you can see all the actual rounds the lead that came out of the gun are on the target nice positioning good tight pattern these are the wads that are behind the rounds that are flying out and you can see our good guy is uninjured and unharmed here to the side so let's take a look at the other side all right first two targets that we shot at this was the bad guy you can see all the shots stayed here nice and tight the waddings came through nothing on our target this was an old target that we were using here already had some holes in it but we stayed on our target slowed it back up and let's just blast away a little bit more and we are clear our safety is on man this thing is running nice and it is tossing those casings way away from me it is just destroying that target down there still staying on the bad guy you guys can see that target firearms really accurate running really good uh, looks like it's going to do everything that I want it to do. I think they've done an excellent job with this firearm. Okay. And remember, folks, be a responsible adult. Don't push your responsibility as an adult off onto a child. Buy gun locks and gun safes.